say hi. Well, let me shoot a seven with every shot. Sir. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Lady Love, please let the... Welcome to Vegas Talk Radio. The internet radio show about the news, people, entertainment, opportunities, and events in the best resort and vacation destination and fastest growing city in America, Las Vegas, Nevada. If it's worth your time and money, you'll hear about it here. And now, here's your host, Charlie Bass. Well, on today's show, we have a special guest. We have one of the most beautiful young ladies and most talented young ladies you'll ever see coming to Las Vegas the end of November. And she started out as, a, I guess, a child singer. She's still a child, and she is so successful and so pretty. Her name is Kelly Rowland. Kelly, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, i got to ask you a question. How does a young, talented singer hit it so big so young? I mean, you guys, when you started out with... Uh, with Destiny's Child was was the number one group and and voted the number one female group of all time, I think. How did you get started? You know what? I have to say it all started with a dream. And it's so funny because a lot of people say that, and it's so cliche, but it's so true. Um, Myself and Beyonce, we started with a dream, and we loved singing. We um, slept and thought about music, drip music, you know, and it was just in our veins and something that, was, that we've always had a passion for, and we worked hard at as well. It wasn't an easy journey. It took us six years to get our first record deal and two years to record our very first album, so it wasn't uh, any microwave success. We had to work hard. <laughs> I love that, microwave success. I haven't heard that before. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> now, how old were you when you guys met? When we were just kids in high school? We were, I think, 11 and 12 years old when we met. Wow. So you guys yeah. <laughs> so, so you guys have grown up singing together since you were little kids, and uh, and you both have had phenomenal careers ever since. Yes, it's been a blessing. We have wonderful fans, and they supported us every step of the way, whether it's uh, with Destiny's Child or in our individual careers as well. And And it's, and it's so unusual to find groups that can can still stay friends and actually everybody have separate careers beyond that and all excel at it, which is just amazing. Thank you so much. Now, you're also, reading your bio, you're also a songwriter, so you actually wrote a lot of the songs that you guys sang? Yes, well, um, I wrote a a little bit on uh, DC albums. I remember that was a really great time for Beyonce and her writing, but my writing has really grown most recently on my Miss Kelly album. I wrote so much, I guess I had a lot to say, <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun, and I feel like like for the first time I remember being in the studio, and it, it was almost like word vomit. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I had word vomit moments in the studio where I <laughs> kind of would just say something, and it worked with the music, so it was fun. Now, how long have you been writing music? I mean, is this something you started as a kid, too? Um, Something you just play with as a kid but the more you see producers doing it in the studio and the more you you just try it out on your own the the more you want to do it and I know that's exactly what happened with me I saw everyone around me doing it and I was just like wow I think I want to put my feelings to paper as well 
and I tried it, and it worked. That's wonderful. Now, you've, you've sung all over the world. Give me an idea of some of the, I guess, the most fun things you, you've actually, per, some of your performances, either individually or with the group. What sort of places have you played, and what, what really hit home for you? Let's see. Um, I had a performance in Nigeria that was awesome, and it was so amazing to watch everybody just completely just have a good time, and, and no one was really looking at, you know, if the next person across the, across the room is watching them or what kind of beverage they have in their hand. It was just about having fun, and I had so much fun there. Uh, Dubai, uh, when I played in Dubai with Destiny's Child, that was such a fun show. It was a place I've never been before, mm -hmm. and uh, we got a chance to get henna tattoos and, you know, just really experience the culture. We were able to ride on sand dunes. I've, I've been able to basically travel all over the world with with Destiny's Child and, of course, on my solo endeavors as well. So it's it's been really cool, really amazing, I have to say. Now, where where is home? Where originally were you were you raised as a kid and, and met and met Beyonce? Uh, Houston, Texas. I was actually born in Atlanta, Georgia, but raised in Houston, Texas. Okay, so you're you're a couple Texas girls that have, have made it big in the in the R&B in the R&B world. Now, about Vegas, have you played Vegas before? Yes, I've I've played Vegas with Destiny's Child, um, and also um, on my solo project as well, and it's awesome. Everybody has fun in Vegas. I, I feel like it, it also makes you feel like you also have to step it up some too, yeah. <laughs> because there's so many great shows in Vegas, and I mean you get a lot of great show ideas in Vegas as well. But you always want to make sure that your show game is on and every single step, every single note, every single thing about your production has to be right. Now, on an average year, I guess if there is an average year right now, how much do you mm -hmm. travel? How much do you actually get to stay home? Uh, let's see. Out of a year, I'd say two months, maybe three months. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the time, you're pretty much traveling, uh, which is fun. I, I definitely have to say you need a, a passion or have to have a passion to be able to travel all over the world and love music. So. It's, and it's such a great opportunity to see all the different cultures and the different places and stuff. And it, it's something that most, pe is. most people it, don't get. And it, it's got to be really a blessing to, to have that happen. It is. It truly is. To be in Europe at the age of 14 and 15 years old is just unheard of. Yeah. Now, how about uh, movies, television? Where do you see yourself going in the future? I'd love to do some more movies. I've done two movies. I have two movies under my belt which I'm really proud of, but also doing more TV. Uh, I, I just really, I would love it, plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've done a little bit of TV. I've done a, some episodes of Girlfriends. Um, I've done shows with Eve, who I also got a chance to collaborate with on my album with Kelly. And it's a lot of fun. TV is definitely a new experience apart from music and something that's challenging, and I love it. Well, I've heard that the work schedule around television shows is just grueling, and, and also for movies, too, where you do a lot of sit around and waiting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the, the thing what I like about acting is the fact that just all together um, as a whole with acting is that you pretty much know your schedule. Right. You know, with music, um, things just pop up, and that's what's cool about acting to me is that you pretty much got a hold of your schedule. Now, let me ask you this. Your style of music that you've been singing, I mean, it really crosses all genres. Do you have a certain style of music or certain certain type of singing that you really enjoy that really, really makes you go, or do you just like singing all different types of music? I love singing all different types of music, but I really love a mid-tempo or ballad just because I feel like people get a chance to listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. And uh, basically, it's, a, it's also a chance for you to bond with your audience, whether it's live or whether it's on an album. That's really important to me. Now, let's talk a little bit about, about your upcoming show. What kind of show is it? Uh, is it a band you do a lot with the audience? How do you, what would people expect when they come to your show? You know what? A lot of fun. I'm also... I like to go out into the crowd, <laughs> and I like to have an intimate show. I like to talk, and I like to...